Welcome back. My name is Patrick Altmans. I'm the owner and founder of Clickfold Plastics. And in this segment, I would like to talk about converting sheet metal parts to plastic. Let me show you a very typical example, which is this modem housing. Sheet metal part, in this case, spray painted. As you can, might be able to see on the video, we already have uh, some of the part chipping off here. Up off here, it is held together by a set of screws and it is silk screened after the fact. But most importantly, this part shows what is typical for sheet metal parts. You have gaps on the sides, openings in the corners. So this, customer's asked, this customer was looking for a cleaner looking part and we pretty much replicated the part by going to this click together plastic version. Uh, first off, there are no fasteners here that are required to hold this part together, it snaps together. But more importantly, you see that we eliminated all the gaps, it's a completely sealed enclosure. Um, we went to a white case in this, in this instance, uh, so we don't have the issues of paint chipping off or anything like that. And most importantly, by using digital printing, we're able to provide a very crisp, high-resolution print labeling the ports on this part. Um, so let me get to another very important aspect, which is the aspect of weight. This part weighs in at pretty close to a pound. Compare that to the plastic version which weighs in at about 0.4 pounds, a 60% weight reduction. That is significant if you, if you ship larger quantities of this part. Uh, so let me move on to a, another part where that is even more relevant, which is this keypad bezel. Uh, we've got the same issues here. This is a fabricated part welded together from numerous stampings. Uh, it is then powder coated and what you will see again is this uh, edge here. You also see that we have gaps in the corners. We have holes for self-threading screws and we have a powder coating which in this case is not perfectly even. Let me show you the plastic counterpart where we eliminated the seam at the bottom. We eliminated the gaps in the corners. We now have brass inserts for our fasteners, threaded inserts. And most importantly, we have a substantial reduction in weight. To be specific, our plastic bezel weighs in at 0.6 pounds. predecessor weighs in at 1.75 pounds. Okay. So we're looking at a 65% weight reduction. Looking at a typical 100 piece shipment for this, uh, for this product, that is a weight savings of about 235 pounds. Or, in other words, we're looking at at least $200 in saved shipping costs for one delivery of this part alone. To take this further, uh, take UPS with a 150 pound weight limit on ground shipments, this will make the difference between being able to ship something UPS ground or having to palletize it for a truck shipment. Um, so there is, let me stress the weight saving alone is often justification enough for our customers to make this transition with us. But let me, uh, let me move on to areas where Clickfold can complement an existing sheet metal product which was the case in with this uh, network hub. You see the, uh, the sheet metal hub, but what they required was dust protection for their connectors. And they were looking for a cover that still left these connectors visible, uh, yet hid them somewhat. So they went with uh, a tinted Lexan cover, which you see here that uh, flips up. And they liked the uh, the uh, 
the way we worked uh, so much that we are now uh, working on a plastic version for the entire for the entire product. Um, another example would be this connector and cable cover. Now this goes on the outside of a large sheet metal cabinet and was, what was important to the customer here was a seamless look. So we went ahead and did something that's not ne typically not necessary. We coated this part with a polyurethane coating which was a perfect color match for the sheet metal uh, cabinet giving them the seamless look and making this plastic part which weighs a whole lot less indistinguishable from the rest of the sheet metal housing. And uh, so this is a, an example where uh, we combine sheet metal with plastic. Um, so if you have any parts that might be good candidates for such a conversion, I would encourage you to send them our way or send us the drawings. We will be glad to explore with you uh, what, uh, what the possibilities are to improve not just the looks and the aesthetics, but also to save you significantly uh, help you with a significant weight reduction and, and redu help you reduce shipping costs. Um, that is it for now. I uh, encourage you to uh, check out our other videos where we cover other related topics, converting from injection molding, for example, or converting from off-the-shelf boxes. And uh, please uh, join me for an session.